Hello friends, welcome to Electronic Circuit Hub. So today we are going to understand about the BJT base bias circuit in LT spice. Okay, so I will run the simulation and I will show you the current flowing through this register R2, the current flowing through this register R1, the current, the voltage across collector to emitter that is the voltage across VCE, I will show you the collector current IC, I will show you the base current IB and at the end I will also run the DC sweep analysis. Okay, DC sweep analysis that means I will sweep the value of VCE and I will show you what is the impact on IC and what is the impact on this collector to emitter voltage VCE. So, so this is going to be very interesting video to do. I hope you will watch till the end, right? So, so let us let us first understand this circuit. So, this is Q1. This is Q1, and I have chosen it 2 and 5, 7, 6, 9. Why? Because the beta, the beta, a current gain or HFE for this transistor is given by. 42120. So that's the reason. That's the reason I have chosen this transistor so that I can get the lesser beta. Okay. Why? Because I wanted to operate this circuit, this circuit in, in a linear region. I, I, I didn't want to operate this circuit in, in a saturation region. So, so that's why I have chosen this Q1 and the resistance value for this R2 or the base resistance for this Q1 is 100 so that it will work in a linear region. R1 value is 560 R ohm. Now at a straight forward, let me run the simulation, right? Let me run the simulation and show you and show you the waveform. So go at this, just first go at simulate and edit simulation command you can find i have selected transient analysis for stop time one millisecond right so okay now i will run the simulation so i'll go this run button and i'll run the simulation and you can see there's a two window popped up one for circuit and one for waveform so i will tile window vertically by doing this you can see you have both circuit and simulation in the in the same window right so let me show you first the base current so you can see your base current is very less and it is around it is around 115 that means 115 micro ampere so your base current is here very less now let me show you the collector current this is current flowing through this resistance r1 that is ir1 ir1 you can see here and it is given by 8.36 okay now let me show you the the collector voltage vc and it is it is given by is given by 7.3 so let me run now the dc sweep analysis so go at the simulate edit simulation command this type you have this time you have to go on dc sweep select the source name vc type of sweep linear start value 0 stop value 12 volt and increment is around 50 millivolt so click click it on here and if you run this dc sweep now you can see here now you can see here this is the collector current right this is the collector current and this is your vc this 12 volt you are sweeping from 0 volt to 12 volt and let me make this also so this is your vce value that means collector to emitter voltage this is your this is your collector current and this is your your 12 your VC which you are sweeping from 0 volt to 12 volt and let us say in this case if you have 12 volt at your here at VC your your like collector current is around 8.3 milliampere and your VC value is 7.3 volt so you can see 
Yeah, this this is your collector current. This is your your collector two meter voltage, and here you are sweeping your this voltage from zero to twelve volt. Okay. So hope you guys hope guys you have understood the base bias analysis. How will you bias your BZT using base bias analysis? How you can check your waveforms and how you can run your DC sweep? How you can fix your DC operating point, right? So if you have any question, feel free to ask me in comment section. Thanks for watching this video.